Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be showcasing Bonnie Bennett in the Vampire Legacies 2. She's finally out and you can try her right now in the game for 2000 Robux. Um, Bonnie Bennett has 400 health, 200 stamina, 500 psychic abilities or psychic magic, whatever it's called, and 1700 um magic as you guys know bonnie this is how she looks like in the game this is one of her outfits you can access her other outfits in the game um each one of them costs a specific amount of money or moonstones that you can buy uh, this is her really really newest outfit which is the limited one that is related to christmas if you want to buy it, it's 250 Moonstone. But without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's move on to her um, showcase. As you guys know, Bonnie got three sides. She got her witch side, her um, expression side, and her psychic side. So we're going to first of all showcase her witch side, um, starting by the spell Vados. Vados! which kind of creates a blast that pushes everyone around and it does them a big amount of damage it's really really helpful and it, in my opinion it has like small um what is it called cooldown next we have is with matches cindia all you have to do is click Cindy. and then move your hand or move your mouse to whoever you want to put on fire and the more you hold the more it's gonna happen but after some time, it will, you know, automatically remove your hand from the fire. Next, we have a Spiritus Vortex, which basically summons a tornado, kind of like a wind tornado, that pushes everyone around, and it keeps, like, spinning them on the air until they get, like, a specific amount of damage, and they go down again. It doesn't specifically ragdoll them, but it does a quite amount of damage to be honest. Next we have is a locator spell that I can locate people however you want. By basically placing the salt and then clicking here and then clicking on whoever that you would like to um, locate. In this case, you will follow this fire trail to your target. I think it's pretty, pretty cute. It's a really good change from her old locator spell, but yeah. Next, we have a Suptus Incendia, which basically does is that it projects the fire. If someone puts you on fire, you basically project the fire back to them and it put everyone around you on fire not just the person that sent it to you which is really really good next we have is which the last which ability that she has also is channel ancestors all you have to do is put a salt on the ground and then you can click on this ability and then channel your ancestors this what basically does is that it restores all your power even if you were at zero magic it restores your power back to 1700 which is really really useful but the cooldown is big it's like around 50 seconds that was her witch abilities and now i'm gonna show you guys her psychic abilities first we have is psychic blast this is my favorite like my favorite ability ever um, as you guys saw it pushes everyone it does them a big amount of damage which is really really good and it also ragdolled them for a really big amount of time as you guys can see next we have is this which basically paralyzes everyone around her they are unable to move unable to use any abilities for a specific amount of time and last but not least is psychic dimension all you have to do is hold hands with someone So you can both of you guys travel to her own personal psychic dimension and this is how it looks like from the inside. I think this is where Enzo and Bonnie were. Yeah, see the guitar? This is where they were together when they were hiding from the human. But if you want to go back, all you have to do is go through this 
thingy and it will send you back to wherever you came from. You know? <laughs> and just like that, really, really cool. That was all her psychic abilities. Um, but now let's move on to the juicy part, which is her expression. How to unlock expression, all you have to do is that put salt on the ground and then collect your grimoire. And in doing so, you will be able to... Vitas Fismatis, excelento. Revertas yeah. Fismatis, Victas. I have every magic. I have the spirit. I have expression. Is that the background of now? So you basically will have access to expression and if you go to your wheel and go down all this place is gonna be filled now with expression abilities the first one we have is which is a heart stopping spell that stops anyone's heart killing them kind of instantly unless you were pushed so let me show you For vampires, it merely just desiccates them, but for witches, they will obviously die. It is an insta kill and really powerful one. That's why it has over a hundred um, cooldown. Next, we have is turning to stone, which is Drusus Vita, and this is how it looks like. Stone makes the blood clot in your veins. I will make every bone, muscle, and joint in your body turn to stone. I think she's really, really, really good. And I really enjoy her. Next we have is the linking spell. You basically link yourself to another person. Once that person die, you die. So let me show you guys how exactly it's going to look like. So if I kill Valerie now, I will basically die with her, like, gone. See? You basically share the same fate as the person that is you linked to. Moving on to the next ability we have is Resurrection. Um, all you have to do is kill the person. Once the person is dead, they can go to the other side and then you can use your ability to resurrect them. Once the person is dying and clicking to go on the other side, you will be able to see their spirit. Nobody else can see them. Only you can see them and you can also communicate. You can basically talk to them, they talk to you, and then you can um, see each other, as you guys can see. Um, but if they want your help, they will basically lead you to their body. All you have to do is go to their body, put down the salt um, circle, and then resurrect them using this ability. Es Matus Traves. This one is a really nice ability, but beware, it takes a lot of magic and a lot of cooldown, like almost 200 seconds. So you cannot go ahead and be spamming um, them abilities, you know what I mean? Next we have is um, fire, kind of like explosion building. All you have to do is get closer to a building and then click your ability and it will put them on fire. As you guys can see, they are put on red which means every single place here will be on fire and everyone inside the building will basically burn as you guys can see and if people decide to go inside the building they will burn just like I did and um, it would be good if you could trap people inside and then burn them that would be really 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 good and last but not least, we have the Sanitas Evitalis, which basically heals the person. Oh, heals yourself, only yourself, no other people. But yeah, all you have to do is click until you heal. But beware, it takes a lot of magic. 
And now moving on to the last and the juicy part, which is an unlockable ability that you can get by basically going to the witch house and then you go here, you will be able to have access to summoning the spirits. All you have to do is hold and then wait until you summon the spirit. And it's gonna be your favorite auntie, which is Emily. <laughs> Bennett, what, kind of like her grand, grand, great, great grandmother. But anyways, so once you summon Emily, you'll be able to basically beg her for power that she will give you enough power to kill any original. Hey, have you come? Why have you come here? I'm here for knowledge. I seek help from the witches who died here, and then you basically talk to her. Um, what requires extraordinary power to take the original vampire the spirits basically telling you that she will give you power but you're gonna have to use it wisely and then you can link to her after you link to her you basically absorb all her power um, which is enough to unlock an ability called Vismatus Impetum Immortale. And this ability you can use to kill any original. Let's kill, honestly, let's kill Klaus, because I love her. Hey, was it? And now all I need to do is one heart trip and he's dead because I basically weakened him and they have 30 seconds to die by any means to die actually forever as you guys can see this ability has a really big cooldown so you better be careful and aware uh, by the way guys she's also immune to compulsion uh, compel me Anytime someone tries to compel get her, she pushes them and then tells them, Get out of my head! Get out of my head! And period. Um, that was Bonnie's showcase. She actually really, really ate. I'm sorry if it's a bit chaotic because it's like one and a half a.m. for me, so I'm a bit tired. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you, Esme. Thank you, uh, my purse. Thank you, Hey, for showcasing with me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.